Welcome back to another one of my daily cocktail vlogs. You missed out on yesterday's video. I made the last word cocktail. It's the first time I've tried it. It's had a big resurgence in the last four to five years due to a bartender over in the States. Came from Prohibition time. I'll leave a card somewhere up here with a link to it so you can check it out. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a margarita. So we're gonna start with the salt rim. So this is up to, up to you really. It's, it's just completely personal taste. I don't particularly like salt on any of my drinks, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So you just wanna wet the, the rim of the glass and then just roll that in the salt till it's well coated, till it's nice and even. Give it a tap to just knock off any excess. As you can see there, that looks pretty even to me. So I'll actually, I'll drop a cube in that and set that aside to start chilling it. So now we wanna grab our cocktail shaker and, and measure out 45 mils of tequila. A lot of recipes called for Blanco tequila. Personally, I just prefer Reposado. And for those that are looking to buy some new pourers, uh, look into the Uber Barflow or Proflow pourers. These things are amazing. They got such a perfect stream when it comes out of the jigger. As you can see there, you do a nice long pour and just the stream doesn't break. So 45 mils. And then we've got Cointreau. Otherwise, if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend the money on Cointreau, buy a bottle of triple sec. So I'm going to do a three quarter shot. Add that to the shaker and fresh lime juice. Same thing, three quarter shot. Fill your cocktail shaker with ice and give it a good shake. Now double strain into your chilled cocktail glass. And for margarita, just garnish with a lemon or lime wheel. And there you have a classic margarita. Cheers. I'm not looking forward to this salt. <laughs> it's a lot of salt, but <laughs> for me, definitely prefer it without the salt. The uh, tequila isn't overpowering, uh, not, not at all, like it's, considering you've got a shot and a half, it's uh, really easy to drink. And the Cointreau balances out the lime juice. I think equal parts of the, the lime and the Cointreau work quite well. Uh, as I said in the past, like I've done only 15 mils of Cointreau, but this is really well balanced. I probably should slow down on this. I do plan on doing another five cocktail videos. So. Forgive me for the next five days, the videos that you see, anything can happen. Who knows? <laughs> That's a bloody good margarita.